Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and we are going to be doing a 500k pack opening. So, it's been a bit since I've done one because I was going to do one, but then Famous Tracks happened and I wanted to win the Legendary Corvette prize car, so then I had to throw all my cash away into that. But, the game is back to being kind of dull again, and for whenever we get this new corrections update that's going to come sometime, not really sure when. It should be relatively soon though, but... Otherwise, there really isn't anything I need to save cash for. I don't really need to save cash for a corrections update or spend cash on anything. So we are going to be doing a 500k pack opening and let's just jump right into it and see what we can get. So hopefully I can get lucky because really I'm just looking out for some cars that I'd be happy to pull and that I'd enjoy having in my garage then. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing special. Just good cars that I want to add to the garage. The first pack was disappointing. We got one super which is going to be fused material because I already own it. But yeah, we're really just looking for um, new cars to add to the garage. So, Range Rover 4.6, and we're getting a BMW 328i. All right, nothing too special from the second pack now. Moving on to the third. So yeah, my expectations are really just I want something good that'll make me happy. I just want a car that I'll be like, oh, that's nice, but let's see what we can get. Oh, okay. Got the DS7 Cross back back. I had to fuse that away, but I'm actually going to keep it now that I've got it back. And I wasn't saying, ooh, that's nice to the Maserati Spider. It just, my reaction sort of timed perfectly with the Maserati Spider. But yeah, I'll definitely take that DS. All right, Chrysler 2-inch convertible, and we're getting A. Oh, all right. Roof Turbo 3.3. I'm happy with that too. That's another car I've been wanting, so I'll gladly take that. Maybe we've got a bit of a streak going. Can we make it three in a row? I've done four ultra rares in a row before with ceramic packs, so maybe we can beat that record. Volkswagen and... Oh, what? <laughs> Mercedes AMG SLC 43. All right, I think it was either three or four um, ultra rares in a row that I got, but can we either beat the record or tie the record? I don't really remember. Bentley Continental and... Nope, Audi S6. I think that's tying the record, though. I think three ultra rares in a row is the best that I've done. I'm not, I don't think I actually did four ultra rares in a row before, I'm pretty sure it was three. But that was a nice little streak, that Mercedes is going to be fused, the other two I will be keeping though. Okay, Volkswagen Polo GTI. But yeah, definitely happy about those two keeper ultra rares, that's definitely something I will be happy about with having added to the garage. Chevy Cruze LT, Mini 1, Nissan Cube, Subaru XT, and we're getting a... Another Volkswagen Polo GTI. So let's see if there's, also there's one thing too, is that I want to just collect a bunch of different German cars since I'm hoping that the German update, um, the next update will be German. Um, so yeah, we've already got a few new ones. I'll probably actually keep the 328i and the Rift Turbo 3.3 is definitely getting kept. The Volkswagen Golf will get kept. Not sure about the Polos, I'll probably just fuse them away for now. And then so far though, that Mercedes will be fused, but then the DS I'll also be keeping that too because I have been wanting to get that back. And then, but yeah, for ultra rares though, I do want to, now that we're halfway through, I do want to show off my wish list of ultra rares. Since we do seem to be going on a bit of an ultra rare streak, these all, any of these ultra rares, I would be happy with getting from the pack. Some of which are just for random reasons. Others are actually good and I'm missing them like the 340R. I've still never pulled a 340R. So I'd definitely be very happy with that. And then there's just a bunch of other ultra rares as well. So let's continue with some single ceramic packs. I think we'll go down to um, a bit less cash and then we'll see if I should go for a times five or not if the luck isn't too great with the singles anymore but we did have three ultra rares in a row so I'm not too sure if we want to leave the singles okay Nissan Silvia all right that's pretty mediocre there so it looks like we should have this is the last pack and then it's either a times five or not and I'm thinking maybe just stick with the singles we'll have to see though Estimar V8 and Acura TL Type S Ooh, but I mean, a times five is tempting, and they are pretty fun, except when they do end in all super rares. But I mean, let's go for it. Let's let's go for it. They're fun. Plus, then we can see any new German cars that we get. So, card number one, Mazda RX-3. Number two is the Ford Fiesta XR2. Number three, Mustang Cobra. Number four is the Ford Focus 1.0. Five being Melancia Beta. Six, BMW, but I already have it. 7, Aston Martin. 8, ooh, I don't actually know if I have this Polo or not. 9, Alfa Romeo. 10, Volkswagen Corrado, that is new, so I am happy with that. 11, Ford Escort. 12, Ford F100. 13, Nissan President. 14, Honda CRX. 15, Renault 5 GT Turbo. 
16 is the Donker Vort, 17 Honda Kappa, 18 Fiat Panda, 19 Mazda RX-8, 20 is the Chrysler Air Flight, all right, jump maybe, 21 is the 520D Touring, 22 Maserati Royale, 23 is the Forester, come on, 24 is the Lavorg, all right, it's 48, let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's a little disappointing, but I mean, I guess it is on my wish list. We could sell, um, I mean, do we sell rares or I'll actually sell two super rares, even though you don't want to do this with your account, but uh, I'll sell the super rares to open up the ceramic pack because the rares actually do need to fuse. I do need the fuse material rares to fuse into my super rares. I definitely don't recommend selling, recommend selling super rares though. I'm just going to do it to open up another pack just for fun. See if we can get something else good. Ford Fiesta again. Fiat X19. Citroen C5 Cross Tour. Chevy SSR and... Nope, Subaru Legacy. Yeah, that's really why it's not worth it to sell Super Rares, but I just wanted to do it for the extra pack. And the Super Rares, I've already got quite a few Super Rares unlocked too. So I've got nearly two maxed Ultra Rares with the amount of Super Rares I just got as well. 328i, I think I'll keep... Ooh, the Continental T is also a cool one too. I think I'll add and lock that one for now. Polos, I'll just add, um, I'll add the rest of these. Ford Edge, I will lock. And then all the rest of these I already own. Then let's go to the Ultra Rares, adding and locking the DS and the Roof Turbo. Mercedes will be Fuse Material. And then we will go to Country Germany Status Not Owned. We've got, oh yeah, I don't have that Polo either. So we got three new Volkswagens. I'll definitely take that. I'll add all three of them. And then the rest of these cars I will use for fuse material, which is why I didn't want to sell any of those rares away, because how much I've got 12 rares, so that's um, nearly a maxed out super rare. So let's let's see which super rare I'll pick to max out. We've got quite a selection. I might go for the Ford Edge since I just got it, except there are a few other really good ones that I probably should max out, and then there's just a bunch of random ones too. So really, I don't know. If you've watched the video this far to this point, leave a comment on which Super Rare I should max out next, and that'll be the next one I'll max out. So here I'll just scroll through it a bit slower so you can see them. But yeah, whichever comment is there first for which Super Rare to max out, I will max out that one. Oh, also my NP Navara. I'll probably finish that, and then I'll max out whichever one is commented then. That seems like the best idea, because I'm not sure if you guys will watch this far into the video now that the packs are done. <laughs> And so yeah, though, that is going to be it for this video. I'm actually pretty happy with the results from that. Oh wait, I gotta con continue scrolling through the Super Rare so you can see all of the stuff, all of the options, the potential options for which Super Rare to max out. Like the Cherry Coupe would be a good one to max out too. That would probably be a smart one to max out because I haven't maxed out one yet. And yeah, that's all the options. But yeah, let's go to the German cars real quickly and see, because I'm probably going to work, use all this Fuse to work on all of this lower tier stuff. Like the Volkswagen Apollo is what I'm currently working on. It's at 112 for my German projects because I've got quite a bunch of them that I need to start to max out, which is why I was hoping to do this 500K pack opening because then it would also give me a bunch of Fuse that then I could spend on all of these projects, which I definitely now have like the Oval Monza as well. I could finish that off too, which will be nice. And so, yeah. That is going to be it for this video. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Elephant. Thanks for watching and goodbye.